Hello, I'm Hal Ottaway with the Wichita Postcard Club, and it's time for another Postcard of the Week. Today, I want you to get out your calendar, and get a sharp pencil, and mark July 6th on that calendar, because that evening, we need you to be here to enjoy and to hear and to learn from our speaker. Let's give you the time, too. It would be 6 o'clock Central Time and 7 o'clock Eastern Time for July 6th. I learned about our speaker uh, some weeks ago when we also did a, uh, a presentation with the Western New York Postcard Club. And uh, we're looking forward to uh, uh, learning more from Michael Langenstein, our speaker. I have known him through uh, the Metropolitan Postcard Club and Susan Lane and other uh, mutual friends that we have in the hobby. And this uh, preparation and everything has been lots of fun, lots of uh, uh, learning on our uh, standpoint to uh, uh, hear from Michael and to learn about some of his uh, experiences in producing and making actual postcards that you might have seen on the rack, say in New York Times Square in that area. But it's neat to uh, uh, have Michael here and I'm going to turn it over to him and let us uh, learn a little bit about, maybe you can show us a postcard, Michael, or just give us a taste for what we uh, look forward to uh, on July 6th. Uh, thank, thank you, Hal. Okay. Um, I just uh, want to thank you and Alan uh, for inviting me to the, uh, to the Zoom lecture. Um, I, the card that I brought for this week is a postcard that I made with artist postcards um, in New York. Uh, there were two shows, uh, artist postcards one and two, they were held at the drawing center in, in New York. And I started out, I, I, when I got to New York, I started making postcards and um, as an art form um, because the postcards are like little works of art to me. And um, I started uh, getting these ideas to, to put things together. And um, I was, invited to the show and I had a postcard swimmer of liberty and that card sold out at the uh, at the show so the woman who was in charge of it was Joan K Davidson and Joan uh, I guess since I was a bestseller <laughs> um, she came back to me and said Michael we want you to make us a wiggle picture and he goes oh okay wiggle picture I said, you really have to, uh, she wanted to make a little lenticular picture um, because she was going to do artist postcards too. And um, it was a pack of artist postcards, like 50 cards, but she wanted to use the wiggle picture in order to sell the pack. So I'm not in the box, I, I'm not in the pack. Um, I, I was outside the pack to sell, I mean, that my image was to sell the other cards. So if you bought the, the, the pack of cards, um, the, the bonus card was the, was the wiggle picture, the lenticular picture, which lenticular is, there are two images. Um, it's in a V and one side has one picture and the other side, the other picture. And when you wiggle the picture, it moves, it's jumping around. Um, and so um, Joan asked me, Michael, what would you like to do? And I, I said, you know, um, I'm thinking about maybe doing the World Trade Center standing between the pyramids in Egypt. And when you wiggle the picture, the World Trade Center is lit up at night and standing on the surface of the moon. And wow. yeah, and Joan said, oh, we'll call it two in time. And I thought, ah. Oh, Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, 
it, it, uh, it was printed in, in Berryview, uh, New York. And I, I think I actually went up there because they needed me to look, look at the thing and okay it or whatever to approve it. And so um, they made the thing and they, the, they, they sold the card and I brought the little car. I have a copy of the card right here. I can show you what it looks like. Oh, great. Uh, let me see if I can get it in here. It looks like, uh, it kind of looks like that. Wow. It looks like, yeah, one way, uh, let me see, like this way, I guess, uh, it's the, the World Trade Center between the pyramids. And when you wiggle it, it's lit up and standing on the moon or standing on the moon with the earth. That little blue marble back there is uh, supposed to be the earth. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, and then um, on the back, Joan, it was Joan's idea since um, there was a universal postcard. She decided to print all the different languages. So there are the, um, this is also copy uh, 507 out of 500. They gave me 500 cards of which I sent them all out. But anyway, um, I, this is like only one I have. And uh, they printed it in all the different languages. Uh, there's uh, Chinese and all of this, the translation is the, um, the, 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 the columns are they grow and sprout beyond the clouds or something or some like poetic Chinese thing and uh, there's uh, Japanese uh, there's Russian uh, and there's Swahili they didn't use Swahili out and uh, put uh, also put um, I put the uh, Egyptian the hieroglyphs in there yeah which is well it's it's truly an international card isn't it yeah, I, it, yeah, it really is. Thank you. It's uh, yeah. on the back. They gave credit to a, a NASA down here on the bottom. Sure. And to uh, a person by the name of John G. Ross. And I just looked at like, I don't know how many photo services trying to find a, the, a picture of the pyramids that I could use. And I looked them over, looked them over, and I finally found one, and it was a photograph by John G. Ross, and I didn't know who that was, and so I used that as the the base image, and when after I the card was published, um, I wound up getting a job with the University of Chicago on an epigraphic survey, which is uh, depicting the hieroglyphs on the on the temple walls. And so I spent six months in Egypt. But when I was in Egypt, um, there was a librarian. We, we were in Chicago House, which had the largest library in all of Upper Egypt. And there was a woman, Mai Trod, who was Lebanese and a sweetheart. And she, um, I showed her the card when I got to Egypt. And she said, oh, can I have one of these? I said, sure. She says, um, John, G. John G. Ross is a friend of mine. I goes, what? I was like, you've got to be kidding me. I said, here, take it, send it to him. And later on, uh, when I came back from Egypt, uh, I had a show at Davis and Langdale, which is a blue chip uh, gallery. It was on Madison Avenue. Now they're over on by Serendipity near the uh, Bloomingdale's. And uh, when I had that opening there, um, it was written up in the Times and uh, John Russell wrote about my cards and instantly all those cards were sold. And um, then um, at the opening, this guy comes up to me and said, I'm John G. Ross. I was like, John, I, I was like so uh, elated to have met him, but he, he was such a great guy. I mean, I just, I love the guy. And then, um, Later on, I wound up going to uh, Italy and, and John was in Italy, he had a little place and he was trying to 
get a little olive oil business going. <laughs> he had a couple of trees <laughs> and a few bottles. I was like, John. Uh, but anyway, he um, uh, he was so great to me and took me all through it uh, all through Rome, and um, I got to see the uh, Pantheon, which blew me away. I just I nearly passed out. It was so breathtaking. But I hadn't had any breakfast that morning. I said, John, how can you do this on an empty stomach? Uh, but um, and he took me over to see the Caravaggios in uh, like these little uh, some some little 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 churches and that. It was really special. But he was um, uh, such a great guy. And uh, he, when he would come to New York, he would look me up, and we, we would uh, continue out on maneuvers. Oh, Michael, that's wonderful. Just think of all of what we're in for. A wonderful evening of being with Michael and hearing about these experiences. And, you know, these artists and these photographers. And it's all because of the so much is happening right there in Manhattan and New York City. It's just amazing. Yeah, and we're, we're in for a treat, Michael. Uh, let me let me go over the times again. It's six o'clock Central Time, seven o'clock Eastern Time on July sixth. That's a Tuesday. We'll see you there, and thanks very much for being here. Bye.